Hey everybody, I want to take a minute and make a short video and talk about how I keep the slide out seals conditioned on our Kodiak travel trailer. So this is a maintenance procedure that any RV owner is going to have to keep in mind and uh, periodically check this and uh, go through this procedure, preferably once a month. That's what I do it. I, I do this once a month. Okay. So on your travel trailer, you're going to have these slide out seals anytime you have a slide out and it goes all the way around but what we're focused on is the uh, the two sides and the top seal okay so what i do is i have a conditioner a foam conditioner that i just simply spray on here and as simple as that let me show you what i use all right so you got to get you a conditioner and whenever we bought our kodiak this is what the uh, dealer recommended that we get this is the camco brand slide out rubber seal conditioner with foaming action all right, I used this for a while until the cam was near empty. But for years, I have been using this right here, the Armor All brand tire foam. And keep in mind, this is not the one that leaves a high gloss, uh, slick finish on tires. This one right here, once the foam dries, it leaves the rubber looking like, it looks like fresh new rubber. And it also has the protectant on there against the UV rays that you want for any of your rubber products. So in my opinion, this gives the same very comparable results as this brand slide out rubber seal conditioner. And honestly, the Armor All is a little bit cheaper there as well. So this is what I use because I use it both for the slide out seals and I use it on the Goodyear tires on our camper, okay? So this is definitely a job where you're gonna have to have a ladder so that you can get up to the top, uh, the top seal and the top of the side seals right here. But we'll start off right here on this side and come in here and give it a little closer look. So you have the slide out seal right here, which is like a flap, okay? And then you have this seal right here. This is like a weather stripping that seals the water out from the outside as well. So whenever I spray, I always coat both the flap here, the slide out seal and the weather stripping seal at the same time. So just give the can a, a good shake to mix it up. And I'll start right down here low so that you can kind of see, and then we'll jump up there and go a little higher. All right. Just give it a good even spray. Doesn't look like the can spraying as good as it usually does. All right, I'll, I'll have to make two passes here. I'm going down on the uh, slide out seal. And I'm going to come back up onto the weather stripping. Just as simple as that. You don't have to wipe it. Just let it do its thing. I can reach this side because I got the concrete here. Go ahead and get the rest of this here. And then we'll go up to the top. Okay, we made it to the top of the ladder. And this is looking at the top of our slide here. Always good to uh, just give it an inspection, clean off any leaves or sticks that might be up here as well. I'll go ahead and start with the top here, just so that it kind of works its way down a little bit. And just give the slide out seal a good coating of the foam right there. I missed that bottom corner right there. All right, now we have the entire top seal sprayed with our seal conditioner. Okay, so now we've moved to the, uh, the front side of the slide, so we're just gonna repeat the same exact application here. So you, of course, have a uh, seal on the bottom of the slide here as well. And usually all I do all I focus on is just the ends where the sunlight is kind of peeking up in there and getting on the uh, rubber. So I just kind of spray it as far as I can, just like that. And I'm not concerned about the rest of it because this side right here is never going to see the sunlight. The ultraviolet rays are not shining on that part of the seal there. So this is what it looks like after just a few minutes of spraying it on. And again, we just leave it alone, let it do its thing. It just kind of dries out the excess moisture there. 
and it'll leave a nice protective barrier on the uh, surface of the rubber and also it's supposed to absorb in there and help condition the rubber and protect it from UV rays and fading and cracking. So I believe that the Armor All Tire Foam gives you equal protectant that the Camco brand does. So personal preference for me because I use this for both the seals and the tires. So there we have it. It's a very simple thing to do. I come out here once a month and make sure that I get them coated and sprayed down. And it's gonna help protect those seals from the UV rays and help keep them from cracking and fading over time as well, okay? So we're coming up on, we're getting very close to two years ownership of our Kodiak travel trailer. And I, I get a lot of uh, comments through the videos and on Instagram about uh, different, different techniques, helpful tips and tricks on RV ownership. So whenever I come across something like this, I like to take the opportunity to grab the camera and film it and share with others for anybody who is maybe new to RV ownership and they're looking for some helpful tricks and tips as well, okay? So as I continue to work on our camper and we have little maintenance issues like this that comes up, I'll get the camera and I'll share it with you. All right, so we hope to see you at the campground real soon though. One more little tip for you. In the uh, cargo box, I keep the uh, tire foam. I keep some WD-40. This is tire lube, I'm sorry, chain lube for the, uh, for the Honda Monkey. And I've also keep a can of the uh, CRC SP350 in here. This is rust inhibitor and a lubricant. I use that for different things too as well. We'll talk about that in another video. But I just keep these cans right here on board all the time so that they're always ready to be used when I need them.